Work out the value of 16 divided by 81 to the power of 3 over 4. So the first thing we can do is rewrite this fraction as 16 over 81 to the power of a quarter, all cubed. Now this works because to simplify this back down, we would need to multiply the quarter by 3, and this would take us back to the original value. So now to start off this question, we'll do 16 over 81 to the power of 1 over 4. Now 16 over 81 to the power of 1 over 4 is the equivalent of 4 root 16 over 81. And 16 over 81 could also be written as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 divided by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. So what this means is that 4 root 16 will be equal to 2 and then 4 root 81 will be equal to 3. So therefore 4 root 16 over 81 is equal to 2 over 3 and this is all cubed. And now the final thing we need to do is cube both the numerator and the denominator of this fraction. And 2 cubed is equal to 8 and 3 cubed is equal to 27. So therefore, 16 over 81 to the power of 3 over 4 is equal to 8 divided by 27. Now this question's worth 2 marks. We'll get our first mark for doing the fourth root of 16 and 81. And we'll get our second mark for the correct answer. 3 to the power of c is equal to 1 over root 3. Work out the value of a plus b plus c. So for this question, we'll need to rewrite all three of these values as powers of 3. So if we start off with 3 to the power of a is equal to 1 over 9, 9 is equal to 3 squared. So this means 1 over 9 is equal to 1 over 3 squared. And 1 over 3 squared will be equal to 3 to the power of negative 2. So if 3 to the power of a is equal to 3 to the power of negative 2, then this means that a is equal to negative 2. Next we need to work out the value of b. So 3 to the power of b is equal to 9 root 3. So 9 is equal to 3 squared. And then root 3 will be equal to 3 to the power of a half. And using our rules of indices, when multiplying numbers with powers, we'll add together the powers. So this means that 3 squared multiplied by 3 to the power of a half will be equal to 3 to the power of 2.5. So therefore, b will be equal to 2.5. Finally, 3 to the power of c is equal to 1 over root 3. So we can rewrite root 3 as 3 to the power of a half. So this means 1 over root 3 is equal to 1 over 3 to the power of a half. And 1 over 3 to the power of a half will be equal to 3 to the power of negative a half. So this makes c equal to negative a half. So the final thing we need to do is substitute a, b and c into a plus b plus c. So a plus b plus c will be equal to negative 2 plus 2.5 minus 0.5. And this gives us a final value of 0. And this is our final answer. Now this question's worth 2 marks. We'll get our first mark for writing these three values as powers of 3. And we'll get our second mark for the correct answer. 